Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer and welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be talking about what is the best mode for casual gamers in Battlefield 1. And this is something that is a very hard question to answer because you have to take into account a lot of things and Battlefield 1 actually does a great job of hiding the game mode that is best for casual gamers. And let me tell you right off the bat, the best mode for casual gamers is not Conquest, it is Rush. The reason why it is Rush is because there are less vehicles, less people to deal with, and more clear objectives. Now, if you play Conquest, you understand, if you're a hardcore Battlefield fan and you play a crap ton of Conquest, you understand the level of depth that Conquest has. Not just capture this flag, this flag, this flag, but, oh, there's a tank over here and we have a plane coming in. The person flying the plane needs to take out the tank, then this squad moves in, we need anti-infantry, support a tank over here. Like, it gets to that level of detail. If you had all people in a party at one time and during Conquest, that is the level of detail that you would find. Rush is, okay, there's 12 of us, there's some tanks coming in, we gotta defend this, this objective, or we gotta protect the tanks so we can attack this objective. Very simple, you know, it's very easy to understand, oh, they just planted the bomb, so there's going to be probably one person at least over there protecting the bomb. Or, hey, I should protect this objective. I can either do it by staying in it or guarding the path to it. Very easy to understand. Also, there's less sniping in Rush. Well, unless you play Sinai Desert, then there's a crap ton of sniping. But other than that, not a lot of sniping, at least for me, in Rush. Especially on the closer quarters maps. You know, it's a lot of SMG and assault... Not assault rifle, sorry. Semi-auto rifle action going on there. Sometimes the LMGs, but not a lot. And now if you play the Russian maps, the Russian maps are a different story. If you're into long-range gunplay and that's all you do in your casual... Russian maps, lots of long-range. And now if you don't know how Rush works, you have one team has a certain number of lives. Like, usually it's between 75 and 150. I think it's actually 75. And you, the defending team has two objectives that they have to defend. And the attacking team, if they blow up both objectives, then they move backwards in the map. The attacking team gets all their lives back, and the defenders have to defend another set of objectives. This happens until either all the objectives are blown up, or all the attackers lose all their lives. The only thing that unbalances the sides is the defenders don't have to, like they don't have to attack an objective obviously because they're defenders and the attackers generally speaking have more vehicles than the defenders sometimes the it's actually even but that doesn't happen too often usually like in sinai desert the defenders don't have any tanks in the beginning and the attackers i think have two tanks so you know, there's that unbalancing there. And then later on, the attackers have two tanks and the defenders, I think, have one. But I like this game mode because individual contribution is important for Rush. And as a casual gamer, you know, you don't you don't have a lot to contribute. But, you know, if, if there's only, like, a couple casual gamers in a Rush match, the match plays out like normal. And it teaches you a lot about how the Battlefield 1 equipment works. When you get into Conquest, however... You have to deal with everything. You got planes bombing you. You got tanks from all sides. Enemies from all sides. You have to keep track of all the different conquest flags because of all the different spawns. You have to keep track of your entire squad. Alright? If your squad doesn't work together, you're screwed. And you have to figure out how your squad's working. In con er, sorry, in Rush, yes, there is squads in Rush. But they're not nearly as important. They are Arguably, the only thing they're important for is sp respawning ahead in the battle. In Conquest, they're a lot more important. The squads and knowing all the vehicles. Knowing all the vehicles is very important. All right. In Rush, most of the time, you just got to know what a tank looks like. And you can figure it out. The last thing that really makes Rush a very good mode for casual gamers is it provides isolated opportunities to try everything out you know if there's a tank um you can pick an assault class and you don't have to fight through like 50 guys to get to the tank maybe you got to kill two and then you have a chance to try out to blow up the tank sniping 
you know, sniping, it's closer quarter sniping, and it's very easy to learn how to snipe in Rush. So if you do want, if you're a casual gamer, you know, but you want to learn how to snipe in Battlefield 1, playing a lot of Rush will help you. You're not going to be very good, but it'll still help you a little bit. And so that's it, guys. This is a video about Rush and why it is the most, the best mode for casual gamers in Battlefield 1. Also, last point I forgot to mention, the matches can sometimes be very short, and the longest matches of Rush are about a small conquest match. So you really get to go through a bunch of matches, get to see the different maps. And yeah, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. You can subscribe for more videos about casual gaming. Sometimes I give weapon tips too, and just tips about actually playing the game. Maybe you want to speed up your process and you don't want to be bad at them, all that stuff. I will see you guys in the next episode stream or vlog or steam it post of whatever I decide to make.